Well, hey there, guys. Good morning. It's your friendly neighborhood sunshine squirrel. Uh, we're back for another adventure today. Um, we are checking out Williamsburg. Um, today we're going to be visiting Bush Gardens. Um, Bush Gardens is a theme park here. Um, and we went there last August and kind of showed you guys around and different changes and how they were opening up the park. But now um, I'm going to be showing you new changes um, and just the different things that are opened at the park now and what you can expect if you're going to be visiting this summer. So let's go to Bush Park. Well, I'm just saying the last time we were here, only certain parts of the park were open, but now the entire park is opened, so you can go everywhere. Yeah. It's like not everything is open, but some of the stuff. Yeah, because it was like a giant. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. German pizza. The slide is closed. It used to be a slide. Right there, it's closed. Please see any team members for assistance. Again, smoking and using cigarettes. The exit. His hand. Kids used to play all in this little water thing. I thought I felt something. I hope it's rain. Oh, it is. 
the candy is sweating. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. Donuts. Lots of donuts. Oh, they have donuts. I just wanted them to get it. Oh, it's here. That is so cute. Oh, that is so cute. So they moved it up here. That is so We got a drop tower over there. Prince Elmo's Spire. Ernie's Lock Adventure. Little photo pass. <laughs> Grover's Alpine Express. Is it Rennie? Oh, that is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's ride it. <laughs> This is my style, right? All right, if you want to do it, then let's get it done. I won't. I won't embarrass you, huh? I won't embarrass you. There are dolphins on there. They get to be right there. Yeah, they don't think that's good. Just like we used to. Actually, not Troy. Still show the people making the food. All done for the day, I guess. Summer night. You guys have never gotten on that one. The teacups. Open. Looks like it's closed. Yeah. The ride. You can see it goes. That's where it goes up, and then it goes backwards. Let's go this way. Okay. okay. 
scent is strong. Yeah. Cups. You guys gonna keep cups? There's the entrance to the train. If you want to get on the train. I don't care. Turkish delay. The train entrance is down there. Yeah, let's go. We rode yesterday. It's a wooden road. We are back from Bush Gardens. It has been such a good time. Um, I hope that you guys were able to see all the different things that were opened. You know, something that I've noticed is that last time when we were here in August, you could only go to certain countries. The whole park wasn't open, but now the entire park is open. Um, some of the attractions and dining locations still are not up and running fully and operational. Um, however, since August, there have been significantly more attractions that are opened. Um, as far as things like wait times, um, I think the longest we had to wait for a ride was about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I couldn't really get footage on any of the attractions just because Busch Gardens has a pretty strict no filming rule. Um, in fact, kind of a pro tip, um, if you want to bring like a bag with you to the park, your best bet is actually to use a fanny pack um, or a waste bag, however <laughs> people like to say it now. Um, but that's your best bet because you can wear those on the attractions however if you have like a wristlet or a swing bag or anything like anything that's like not actually secured to you um they're going to make you check it into a locker um you can't ride with those on so definitely definitely consider bringing one of those waste bags fanny packs um if you want to keep your articles with you versus in a locker um, and then as far as masks and things like that, um, Bush Guardians, excuse me, Bush Gardens is following um, the state of Virginia's uh, mask mandate by their governor. So uh, make sure, you know, before you're traveling here, because things are always changing, um, to check that website and make sure that you know what you can expect when your family comes. Um, as far as the water attractions, um, the Flume, Le Scoot is closed. The Roman Rapids is also closed, um, but Escape from Pompeii is opened. So one water attraction is open, the other two are closed. But overall, like I said guys, we really didn't have that long of wait times. The parks were not that crowded. Um, and I think part of the reason why the wait times were even around 30 minutes was because um, for the roller coasters, um, typically they'll have two or three train cars running at a time. So as one of the trains is leaving the station and kind of beginning the ascension, you know, up the slope and all that, you have another one that's coming in and they're loading people up and things like that. However, they were only launching one train car at a time. So when you were in line, you had to wait for a complete cycle before you could get on. Um, I'm not sure why they were only doing one train car, um, but I think that was part of the reason why there even was a wait. Um, otherwise, it really wasn't that bad. Um, in regards to attractions for the kids, um, Bush Gardens is really nice because they do have two kid zones or kid kind of lands, if you will. Um, they have the Land of the Dragons and then they also have Sesame Place. Um, 
I think this is kind of unique um, in that they do have two sections specifically for children. Um, all of the rides for the attractions for kids were opened. Um, right now, Bush Gardens is doing kid themed weekends uh, for this month of June. I believe it's June 4th to June 20th. Um, however, everything was great. Um, we even went to the kids <laughs> zones as you guys saw. I got some footage for you guys so you could see how busy it is, things like that. Um, the attractions for the kids had like no wait times at all. Um, we even rode <laughs> like Grover's roller coaster just because. Um, so if you have kids and you're wondering about that, both of the lands are open and wait times are great. As far as entertainment goes, they are bringing back a lot of the shows. Um, in Fest House in Germany, they have the Oompa Band. Um, it was actually a really good show. It was around 23, 25 minutes. Um, and they sing and they dance and they play music. So if you remember kind of the old Fest House where they actually had the band and they would like lift them up on the elevating stage and then have um, the different performers dancing the traditional German dances. It was very much reminiscent of that. Um, it was really great so definitely make sure to check that out. Um, and then in the Italy Pavilion as well they also have um, another band that's performing there. We didn't get a chance to check them out um, but there are entertainment options for you guys. Um, we also even saw um, cast members in costumes, walking around in places like France and England, just adding to the, you know, ambiance of that country, interacting with guests, joking around and playing. So it was really nice to see those old things that even, I would say even before everything that's happened in the past year, didn't really seem like they were happening anymore, but it really reminded me of the old bush gardens so um we had a great time and thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know in the comments below if you're planning on visiting bush gardens this summer and what you're most looking forward to or if you've already visited bush gardens this spring summer season and what changes you are happy to see thanks so much for watching make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time Bye. please place them toward the center of the car seat and not on the outside edges Thank you for your attention and cooperation. Enjoy your ride aboard the Bush Gardens Railway. <laughs>